Hi, this is Stephen Wright. I'm the Chief Analyst for Vendor Neutral, focused on our certification profiles and working with buyers. And we're joined today by Brendan Cornier, who is the VP of Marketing for BrainShark. And Brendan, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, thank you, Stephen. Hello, everyone. My name is Brendan Knorr. I'm head of marketing here at BrainShark. Uh, I've been here for a little over eight years, and uh, I'm very excited to be here today to talk to you guys a little bit about um, you know sales readiness and uh, skills development. BrainShark is a data-driven sales readiness and enablement platform, so it's very relevant for us. And um, yeah, excited to be doing this. Cool. So when they're thinking about the needs they have for training and, and some of the challenges that they face and all of that, what happens if they don't address those issues? Yeah, I mean, if they, if look, if you have a poor readiness training enablement uh, practice, um, you, you end up with some poorly skilled reps and, and that leads to exactly what you'd expect, uh, low productivity and, and low performance. Um, and that can have a lot of impact, especially, you know, just start with, with when a new hire walks through the door, you wanna onboard them effectively. If you're not doing that in an effective way, the ramp up time might take too long. It might take too long for them to, uh, to become productive, to start getting on that first call, scheduling that first demo, closing that first deal. So you need to accelerate that. Um, if they do go through an onboarding program, it's not effective, they don't have the skills they really need to be successful, certainly they're not gonna perform the way you want them to, but they'll also likely be out of there sooner rather than later, which means you'll have higher turnover rates. And that can be very costly and you have to deal with that. And that's just, uh, just one example, you know, beyond onboarding, like I said, you know, you gotta keep reps continuously prepared. Message consistency, is a huge thing with if, if your sales team is out there and there's inconsistency in terms of the stories and value messages that they're telling, the way they're describing the products um, that and solutions and services that you provide, uh, that creates buyer confusion. It creates um, issues later on in the funnel. They might hear something that sounds great and then they find out later that it wasn't exactly true. That sort of stuff you wanna be able to avoid, obviously. Um, but there's also just consistency in the way you want your sellers and your client facing teams describing the company and the business and, and, and your offerings. And that's really, really important. So that's another piece where if you don't have that, you're creating confusion, you're creating issues that could bite you later on um, and turn what should be a winnable deal into something that becomes less winnable. Um, so that's where um, having the right strategy, having the right dedicated approach and commitment to sales readiness and enablement can help. And again, certainly having a technology platform like BrainShark um, that can help facilitate, automate and simplify um, all of those activities and hopefully make them much more effective. Makes a huge amount of sense. Mm -hmm. So, but let me ask if someone's recognizing that, you know, they're in this situation and they need to do something or they're going to start looking, what should they think about as they're looking at solutions? You know, where, where should they start and, and what are some of the key questions they, they should ask vendors and, and some of the functionality that they should be looking for? Well, the first thing you want to understand, I think, um, and the first thing that we always talk to our potential clients about is what are, what are the pressing needs and pain points that are prioritized for them right now? Is it an onboarding issue? Is it um, something like rolling out a new selling methodology? Do you have an, an important new product launch coming up? Um, has there been some sort of business transformation? Have you uh, uh, gone through a merger or an acquisition? An acquisition is a huge trigger around readiness because not only now do you likely have uh, a new product or solution set that you have to train your existing sales force on, you also have a new sales force that has to get trained on everything that you've been doing. So that's a huge need around readiness. So first, just really knowing what your priorities are. We've already talked about how this is a, a big job. So um, really being able to focus and zero in on what, what your needs are will help guide you and lead you towards the right platform. And then, um, and then from, a, from a sales readiness perspective, look, there's a lot of sales technology out there. One of the benefits of, of sites like Vendor Neutral is that it helps uh, provide clarity around all that different technology and provide clear categories and segments around what types of solutions are gonna be more effective for your specific needs. Um, from a readiness standpoint, there's lots of things um, that you can uh, look at that may be most beneficial to you, specifically around, for example, centralizing all of your learning activities into a single place, being able to integrate that into uh, solutions and systems that your reps are using, like your CRM, uh, being able to churn out and create the content that you need uh, your reps to be trained and learned on. A lot of the content that uh, is required of sales training isn't necessarily off the shelf type of content. It's, it's proprietary, it's content that's unique to your organization. Where does that come from? Do you have a platform that will make it easy for you to create that content yourself, to keep it up to date? 
um, whatever it needs to be, to make it interactive and engaging, video-based um, uh, learning materials, micro-learning, that sort of stuff that um, not only that you're, if you're a sales enablement person that you may need to create yourself, but also need to incorporate subject matter expertise from around the company and, and get them involved in the content creation process. That's a big key. Um, do you have flexibility in the way that you can get that, um, that information out to folks? Um, formal training courses, certainly, but also there's a lot of just-in-time uh, learning that goes on in the, sales, uh, in the sales space. Do they have access to the materials they need when they're preparing for a meeting? Um, can they find the stuff that they need very, very quickly and easily? Your platform, may, you may have a need for your platform to allow you to do that. Uh, certainly coaching is that other's piece. You know, you can create your content, you deliver it out, make sure they've learned it. Uh, but now how do you really certify and validate that they've mastered that material? Video coaching tools are really, really useful here. Um, they're also really useful for remote workforces where you can't coach them face to face. That's certainly something that's top of mind for all of us right now. And um, so being able to say, okay, here's an activity. You've, you've taken this course around a new product. Now show us how you would pitch it to this audience. And then you can actually see and hear how the rep is putting it in their own words so you can coach them and identify exactly how to improve that efforts. And even better, if they do a really good job, you can save that and use that as an example of what great looks like. So you can share it out for others around your organization to learn from. Peer learning is a, is a huge part of sales readiness and skill development. And then the real secret sauce, I think, is, is being able to really understand and visualize whether all this effort work is working, you know, it, 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 all the stuff that you're putting into sales readiness, all the programs you're putting into place. First, is it actually working? Is it actually leading to the sales performance gains, the revenue generating activities that you want it to? And if it's not, how do you diagnose what's not working? How do you diagnose where, or which, what individual reps are having trouble with? Are they having trouble getting things moved throughout the funnel? Are they having trouble closing negotiations, things like that? And then identifying those skill areas that it might be something that they came in and they were already trained on, but now you can see they're really struggling and they could use reinforcement. They could use additional skills development. The ability to identify that in real time is something that your technology platform should allow you to do and visualize and make that really simple for you. And then certainly, you know, take readiness out of um, its little bubble and be able to connect all of those activities and the skills that you're training them on and making sure that they're actually leading to revenue generation act, generating activities. The calls per day, your pipeline building, all of that sort of stuff, certainly close deals. Um, velocity of deals going through the funnel. These are important things that a highly skilled rep should be really effective at. So your readiness platform should be able to tie all that readiness um, uh, activity that you're doing to those revenue generating activities that they're doing that are being tracked via your CRM or other platforms so you can make those better decisions and then hopefully, hopefully also be able to prove the ROI and return to others around your organization of everything you're doing from a sales and event and readiness perspective, because that's another big challenge that a lot of folks have when they first get into a sales and event role. Um, so if you can do, look at those four pieces, just to cover again, you know, uh, content creation and management, um, being able to deliver training in a flexible way, courses, or even informal just-in-time learning the coaching to validate and certify that they have the messages uh, mastered, and then um, using uh, scorecards and visualized analytics and metrics and reporting to be able to view whether or not those, um, those skills are resulting into the uh, revenue generating activities you want, but also help you diagnose what isn't working so well so you can address that with continuous skill development. Wow, that's a lot to think about. All great stuff to think about. Thank you. So with that, I'd like to thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. I think you've given anybody at Vendor Neutral or coming to look at BrainShark a lot to think about, about the capabilities, about how to integrate that into the organization, into the workflow to make it a, a, a continual process, not a one-off, not a check mark, not a bubble. So with that, thank you, Brendan. And this is Stephen Wright with Vendor Neutral. And uh, happy selling and happy learning. Thanks so much.